Hey there, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing today? Let's take a look at the coming week, June 15th through the 21st. We're looking for you at what's happening, what's going on. Um, woo! Lots of stuff happening. <laughs> going on vacation. Yay! At the end of the month. I know, I know, I know. So working hard up until then, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff, so uh, no private readings in that week. Uh, be gone 20th-ish to after the 4th. So um, we're not going to do any private readings after, I think, the 21st or 22nd. Yeah, 21st. Um, so then they will resume after the 4th. Okay? So let's see what's going on here for you guys. Uh, also, if you're interested, this is for Soulmate Twin Flame. If you're interested, uh, I have uh, something called the Empress Club, which you're welcome to join. It's all about Twin Flame Soulmate stuff. So, there you go. There you go. And there you go. So, let's see what's happening to you. For you, with you, Eight of Pentacles, Gemini. Woohoo! You're just working along. You're just doing your, minding your own damn business. <laughs> Minding your own damn business. Oh, my word. Okay. It's getting increasingly more interesting. Wow. You're minding your own damn business, and then wham, here comes a relationship. Isn't that how it usually works for Gemini? I think that's it. I do think that's right. Uh, it's water. Okay, um, so you may be somebody who has had a lot of crap in the past, Gemini. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, someone coming back, Ten of Pentacles. Um, this is a person who is likely a life partner or somebody who has the potential to be a life partner. Um, you feel stable, stable and solid with this person. And this Nine of Wands, you've really been through it. <coughs> you've really been through it. That's why you're just minding your own damn business. You know? Just not really interested in much. Just twiddling your thumbs. Counting the stars. And you've had, uh, you've been through the wars with relationships. Um, the Six of Cups is nice because it's a soulmate. It's also somebody who makes you feel stable, somebody you want in your life. Um, your person here, there's your Gemini card here. Uh, you, you likely have left this person in the past. Five of Cups. Um, you could have run away from them. You could have... Dump them by the side of the road. I mean, after going through this Nine of Wands, you just were like, I'm done with this relationship. But now, a new opportunity, they're offering a new opportunity. Four of Wands, lovers here. You likely see this person as soulmate, life partner. They did too. Something happened between you that caused some pain, some disappointment. And now, that's over. So this, this needed closure. Okay, this Nine of Wands, Five of Cups situation, it needed some closure. It needed some kind of conversation where we're tying it up in a bow, right? There needs to be that for both of you. Because you had Nine of Wands, they had Five of Cups, and it was just like, oh my God, this is terrible. But yet, this relationship is good. It's a good one for both of you. Queen of Wands, could be a fire sign here, ge another Gemini. Uh, Queen of Wands, because the uh, Knight of Swords is the twins, right? The two knights, Gemini energy. This could, this, I mean, you see how the world, these two people are intertwined. This is a big time soulmate. This person is a big time soulmate. And not every soulmate becomes a life partner, but this person could be. This person could be. Absolutely. All right, let's do an extended read. Actions to take, blocks to love. Let's see about this lover's person. 
and let's see how this is going to unfold, and then we'll get some guidance to you from the angels. Well, the deck. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so click on the link below, June 15th through the 21st. I'll see you over there.